OK, I'm going to show you how to make a stool. You start off with a log, so I've cut this so that the ends are pretty much parallel and at right, at right angles to the log. You want the length to be about the right height that you want for a stool. So the first thing we're going to do is put it on its ends, and I'm going to cut the sides away of the log, which will make it ready to form into the stool. So having cut the four sides, I now need to put the stool onto its side and cut each of those side pieces off by going round with the saw here. Now at this point I'm going to need to find some blocks of wood to steady it in place. OK, so I've just got a couple of old offcuts here, which will do nicely to wedge the log in place so it doesn't move around while I'm sawing it. There we go. of overcuts here so what I'm going to do is now just go around with the chainsaw and carefully neaten up the underside of what's going to be the seat of the stool. One trick while you're making the stool, if you want to keep it clean, if you may be going to be using it indoors, is to keep a good bed of sawdust underneath it, and that will keep the, uh, the seat clean while you're working on it. So now I've tidied that up a bit. You could spend as long as you like tidying it up, but uh, carefully don't whittle the whole thing away. So the next step now is to cut the middle out, leaving a leg at each corner. The tricky bit at this point is getting the cuts to meet to come in at the bottom. But it doesn't matter if they don't meet the first time because you can go back and take them a bit deeper and curve them slightly. One trick is to try and get them to meet higher up because you can always make the cut deeper but you can't just bring it back up. So there we have one wedge cut out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the next wedge out and then I'm probably going to neaten this little bit up a little bit as well.
but now that's actually the basic stool finished. What I'm going to do finally though, to make it a little bit nice to sit on, is I'm going to bevel the edge of it carefully with the chainsaw. There you have it that's the uh, pretty much finished stool you could put other touches onto it like beveling off some of these edges if you wanted to but we're going to be just be using this in the woodland so i'm not too bothered about it looking uh, perfect so as well as a stool it has another use if you put it this way up then you can drop logs in could be using longer ones but these are some small ones i want to cut in half to make some uh, small bits to go into the fire As you can see it's a very easy way to hold together a few logs and chop them all at once um, and so it's a, a dual purpose stall very handy in the woods <laughs>